Reef Bum is sponsored by Polo Reef, Champion Lighting and Supply, and GHL. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So this is a very unique video. I've got Jim Graham Telegram with me and we're gonna kind of shoot from the hip here. I was recently made a Fauna Marine ICP test advisor. Jim got wind of that, selected me, and here we are. Um, here we are. We're going to take a look at his recent uh, icp that he submitted it was a a reef icp test so that's 37 parameters it wasn't the uh reef icp test total which is 90 parameters so we're gonna yep. have a limited number of parameters that we're gonna be looking at here so um all right dude i'm gonna um ask you a couple of um basic questions so for those folks sure. out there that might not know your situation your tank <clears throat> just uh, briefly describe your uh, reef tank and, and some of the basic equipments. Don't spend a lot of time on it, but just give me kind of a sense and what you got equipment wise and yeah, animals. Cool. I've got a uh, hundred gallon IM innovative Marine with a 30 gallon sump, totally mixed reef uh, with some basic equipment, basic dosing, just a single dosing pump. And then uh, just a monitor, just a controller for monitoring pH and controlling temperature as well. So super basic system. We've got I've got two GHL meters over top with a Refi Uno Pro 2.0 um, lighting that tank. A little bit of Jabo power heads on the inside. Just a very simple system. And what's going on in terms of you're using the Cockwasser, correct? Yeah, sorry. So uh, dosing, I'm dosing calc. I'm dosing uh, Captivate Trace that I have made some adjustments with. I'm dosing, uh, I have on tap uh, sodium hydroxide, but I'm currently not using it. But I'm also dosing uh, no pox. I kind of went back to my 45 gallon cube roots and how well I did with that tank. So uh, just recently threw some no pox on there. And you also recently hit the tank with ChemiClean, right? So you had an issue with yep. the cyano. So you recently, how long ago was that? Oh, I was just looking at my notes. It was probably been three weeks, maybe be, maybe three weeks. And it's uh, today, I just, so uh, I think last time we talked, that had shot up my phosphates. I saw a hint of nitrate bump. But it had really increased my nitrates, and that happens every time I can. Phosphates, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. And I had taken them. I had taken measures by reducing my calc dosing. I had also lowered my lighting and then acclimated back up to my original setting because I knew my corals were going to be pissed off about what I did, and I just didn't want to um, shoot up. So alkalinity too high. I just jumped to the total phosphate, and uh, you are correct. Point three seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the cool thing here is that when you click on um, your development values, it gives you a um, a history of what yep. um, had been going on in terms of all your different uh, ICPs. Dude, what was going on back in uh, November of 2023? Uh, that's fake. That's fake. That's not right. That's not right. That's a bad number. That wasn't. That was must have been a number that I entered in manually because. Okay. Funnerman also allows you to enter data, gotcha. so I may have screwed that up. Gotcha. Um, what, let, let me backtrack a little bit here in terms of um, sending in these ICP tests, and we've had our own private discussions about this, and, and uh, Claude Schumacher from Fauna Marine um, advised me, <clears throat> for those in the United States, probably the best day to send it in would be on a Friday to get the quickest uh, turnaround, and I've done that myself, <clears throat> and the... Um, the, uh, the, the test kits that I've sent in typically get to Louisiana, which is where <clears throat> they um, go before they go to Germany. So they go to Louisiana in um, the Coral View um, in Slidell, Louisiana. Yeah. And uh, so you, mine typically get there on a, uh, on a Monday. <clears throat> I've gotten results back as early as a uh, Wednesday. So probably the best um, advice would be to send it in on Friday. But you could also uh go ahead. No, I'm assuming you're doing that priority mail because if you don't do priority, send it on Thursday because then it'll make it Monday. Mine showed up on a Tuesday non-priority mail. Okay. 
Yeah. So, anyway, I think it's just something that uh, to keep in mind. Probably either a Friday mm-hmm. or a Monday to uh, to send in those tests. All right. Getting back to the uh, to the total phosphate. So yes, we could uh, we could see that. And you've got the uh, you've got the uh, the fake number there that's kind of throwing off the historical yeah, uh, chart. So all right, and we talked about uh, that in terms of being spiked because of the ChemiClean. Here's an important question, Jim. Right now. What is the state of your tank in terms of the corals, and and uh, how are they looking? How is everything uh, doing? Yeah, fantastic. Everything's happy. The corals are happy. So cyano's gone. Uh, corals are growing. My consumption of alkalinity has increased, um, but I did reduce it. So I've, I worked it back up, and then I needed to add a little bit more because it was starting to drop a little bit. So right now the tank is firing on all cylinders, looking really good. So that that's a really important point because, you know, I, I'm – of the mindset that uh, you don't do too much to the tank in terms of making changes if things are looking really good, you know. So sending in an ICP test when things are really uh, good is is always a great idea because it serves as a good benchmark. So when things don't look good, then you've got an ICP that you can kind of use as a comparison. So let, let's just keep that in mind in terms of making any um, big changes to what you're currently doing. So, all right, let's, um, so when, when, when you sent uh, this in and I got notification about the, uh, the test results, a couple of things really stuck out to me and um, high, very high iodine. And I'm going to go yep. to that right there. So yep. that's um, 200%, um, you know, higher than what it should be. So again, I think back in uh, November, 2023, you had something wacky going, that. going on there. But um, so you had yeah. very high iodine. Uh, you also had some very high zinc, which um, mm-hmm. is uh, another. Um, that's actually a dynamic element. The dynamic elements are zinc, vanadium, copper, nickel, molybdenum. Those are um, pretty important elements, and, and those are ones that you certainly want to keep uh, your eye on. But you also had, um, you know, high uh, nickel, manganese, and uh, iron. Did I mention um, molybdenum? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So go ahead, Jim, and explain why you think all that stuff happened. And I think it's... Uh, oh, yeah, I did this. This is me screwing it up. So <laughs> uh, I had a, I had a basic recipe from Chris Wood from Captivate, and I was following that. And the tank has... I mean, this has, uh, over the last eight months or so, the tank has undergone... It's only a year and a half old tank. Tank's undergone some changes. As the tank matures, things are changing, and I'm lightly modifying the recipe that I was given. And I could send this in. This Actually, this wouldn't be a good test to send in because I totally screwed it up. But anyway, uh, I've slowly changed. Now, my ICP test before this, if you take a look at the iron, uh, actually click on iron if you can. Yeah. But um, it showed super low. Right, and then it spiked. Yeah, take it. So oh, hover over that last one, please. Not that one. The one before. Sorry. Yep. Zero. Zip. Yeah. So uh, ca- uh, calcium dropped, iodine dropped, um, iron dropped, so, um, strontium dropped. A whole bunch of them for a, a reason I can't figure out. A lot of them red low. So I did modify the dosing regimen a little bit. I did increase iron significantly, and so I'm seeing that in my data. But I also was adding, uh, kind of a, based on a conversation you and I had about cyano, hmm. with my iodine being too low, I did right. manually adjust. And, I, and, and I've had higher iodine before. This, this doesn't freak me out too much. In fact, compare this to your super, super high iodine. It's really low, but... Um, all, all of me, all of all of what I did to the tank is why we're seeing the results that we're seeing. And so this isn't this isn't due to a recipe that I was given. This is me fiddling around just to see what happens. And this, this kind of syncs up because the uh, Captivate Isolate MT, which is what you were dosing, um, you yep. know, has the iodine, the zinc, the nickel, the manganese, the molybdenum, and the iron. So the fact that you went heavy-handed with the MT, mm-hmm. and the fact that um, the ICP um, you know, support of that is, uh, is, That's, you know, make, makes sense. Yep. 
and that was manual. I was doing manual drips. I only did it for a week. It's interesting. What I don't know, and I, uh, and I didn't write it down. I didn't take notes. What I don't know is from the point where I stopped manual dosing, just like ketchup dosing, if you will, then uh, to the point where I took the ICP, I don't know that duration. So it was probably too soon. Right. And, um, you know, so a point that, um, you know, should be made in terms of the isolin and MT, if you wanted to have more control in terms of dosing or adjusting those individual elements, then it would it would make sense to to dose those individual elements, you know, the iodine, the zinc, Absolutely. the nickel versus the isolate MT, yep. which is a, um, a kind of a, a catch all in terms of those. Uh, those elements. And the other thing I want to point out here is that just for those folks that are not familiar with the uh, fauna marine ICP um, test results, what's uh, what's really cool here, and I'm going to um, something here where uh, you're in the green, is they have recommendations, right? So mm -hmm. uh, you're right on the button there in terms of the sodium. So there's um, there's not much to do there in terms of that. They they give um, you know what potentially could happen. Let's go to one that um, you know you're kind of out of whack on, which would be uh, strontium. Strontium, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So again, it just it gives you action steps to um, to correct those uh, those levels. So you're kind of like in the yellow right there, and and they throw it to you right in the beginning too. So at the very beginning of the test, you see all of the very quick hit action things. Right. I think something you had explained to me that. What you want to see is at the top of this report. So you yes. see the things that are red, the things that I need to do something about if I decide to do so. But then you also see the quick overview of dosing, what I should consider doing to the tank to get it back in the range. Right. And, um, you know, so I just clicked on uh, on, on iodine and there's a, um, a recommendation here. If you wanted to use the Fauna Marine products, then then they're suggesting using the the Fauna Marine um, Balling Light trace three solution to uh to make that kind of adjustment or you could use whatever traces you want to use it doesn't have to be the uh, the fauna marine i mean i use uh the captivate traces uh you're using the isolate mt from captivate but if folks want to get no 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 i'm using i'm using mt is just a portion of what i'm okay, doing what with else that larger using? solution that i create i'm doing oh you uh, i should have been prepared i don't have that <laughs> i can send you my is that your own little you uh, concoction there you're the, the no, no no it's it's i, I sent my, my results to chris and chris sent back his recommendation uh and it's absolutely based on that right 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 so um right uh copper uh i clicked on that you don't have any detectable levels of copper and and you know that's no i'm not at copper i've uh, i had zero copper myself mm -hmm. For uh, for a long mm -hmm. time, but I've just started adding a little uh, copper, and um, but you got to go slow on that, and and the same with other uh, you know certain elements. You always <laughs> got to go slow. You don't want to like make these um, big, dramatic, significant uh, changes. Uh, fluoride, for instance, which you don't have a uh, a value for because you only did the um, <clears throat> the reef ICP test, not the total mm -hmm. test. That's again something that uh, I started dosing a number of uh, months ago, and and it's just you know, you start dosing it, then you do an ICP. I've been trying to, um, I've been doing weekly ICP tests, which, yep. which is a, um, you know, an excellent way. It could be a little pricey to do weekly uh, tests, but, you know, talking to Claude, but they might, you know, my understanding is that um, you, you need a good um, frequency of tests over a, a longer period of time, long period of time to get a good picture in terms of what's going on to potentially make correction so yep. yeah and um so that's that's kind of like i think this is a really good example of how quickly it can get out of whack if you decide not to maybe do it what could be considered the right way i've since uh added uh, 100 liters to my tank with a cryptic sump outside so i'm going to see these numbers change because that water in the garage was not dosed that's just a mixture of hw and instant ocean so um, everything's, I'm going to see everything level out over the next few months. So maybe two months. So I expect a whole lot of this to change. So we'll take a look at the, we'll take a look at the results here in a couple of months. Yeah. So I guess my overall advice to you, Jim is, is, uh, it, you know, it seems like you've got, uh, matters, uh, under control. You have a, a method to your madness in terms of what you've been doing and, <laughs> and uh, how you, uh, corrected those sorts of things. And, and uh, you know, again, the fact that your coral corals are looking great, the tanks looking great, 
I wouldn't go uh, too crazy in terms of uh, making changes, but at least you got a, uh, a blueprint yep. here from uh, Fauna Marine if you wanted to uh, yep. to start making some of those uh, adjustments. So, dude, man, I uh, I appreciate you uh, you taking the time. Any other questions from uh, this uh, consulting session? No, I appreciate it. I think what uh, we'll we'll swing back around. Um, when I do a total, because I do have a total here, and if you look back a couple in my results, you'll see fluoride, and I had nailed that one just by guessing. Nice. But uh, I think we'll we'll talk again once I get that total test done. Awesome. All right, Jim, man. Thank you very much. And, folks, that's going to uh, be a wrap for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you've done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.